Hi Central Texas, I'm Steve Medina with Savvy Property Inspections. Many of you get my newsletters about home improvement, products, uh, even politics sometimes, energy efficiency, and uh, I usually write, well actually I base my newsletters on, I call them as I see them basis, either from experience firsthand or from licenses that I have and qualifications. Hi Central Texas. I'm Steve Medina with Savvy Property Inspections. Many of you get my newsletters about home improvement, products, uh, even politics sometimes, energy efficiency, and uh, I usually write, well actually I base my newsletters on, I call them as I see them basis, either from experience firsthand or from licenses that I have and qualifications and uh, things that I know about. Um, I won't give an opinion unless I know something about it or I've had first-hand experience. Um, we're coming into summer and people are asking what kind of insulation should I get? Uh, what do you think? What do you like? And so I have my opinion and um, I've been through many hundreds of attics over the years, especially in the summertime and it gets hot in there. Uh, but there is a certain insulation for this area uh, that I prefer. But the most popular kind are these two kinds right now. The blown fiberglass and the cellulose, uh, aka recycled uh, newsprint. Um, these two types of insulation can be found at any Lowe's and Home Depot. Um, there's other types. There's rock wool. There's other types of uh, cellulose. Um, there's the spray foam, and uh, then uh, some other people are even, other than insulation, they're also putting in, putting in radiant barrier. But what isn't clear to many people is the cost and the efficiency and the safety value of, of the insulation. Um, which overall is better or which is which are you going to get the more, most bang for your buck? So what I did was I went out to Home Depot and I went to Lowe's and I picked up some samples. Um, I did a little bit of math and I did some comparisons on their pricing and I've got that here on the board. Um, one is uh, more expensive than the other and I think as you can see some of the numbers on the bottom there already speak for themselves. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see what I'm talking about. Cellulose, the reason I write green here is because this package says, the packaging to this says green all over it. It's practically is jumping out saying, buy me, you're saving the planet. I'm more efficient than all the rest and I'm recycled uh, paper. Up to 85% in some cases. Um, I mean, you can tell, I mean, it, 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 this is recycled paper, it, it says, it's got lettering on it, you know, I think that's an E. Anyway, uh, but, but this uh, fiberglass is recycled too. That stuff is recycled as well. Um, believe it or not, this is recycled glass up to 40%. So, this is kind of green too. It just doesn't have all the green pack packaging on it. It doesn't have the trees and the clouds and it doesn't say green all over it. Um, this has been around many, uh, many years, decades in fact. This is somewhat a little bit newer but has been around many, many years as well. Um, except the packaging has changed and times have changed. It's popular to be energy efficient, especially when you're getting uh, commercials on the TV and they're telling you that, hey, you know, be more efficient, quit destroying the ozone, quit destroying the planet, uh, go spend some money, we'll give you some rebates. So if you're going to go do that, why not do it uh, the smart way? At the stores at Home Depot and Lowe's, the pricing is pretty uh, similar. They're pretty much the same. After I did some math, I, uh, well, first off, as far as efficiency wise, the cellulose insulation on the left has more, val more R value per inch than the fiberglass. Cellulose is 3.7 R value per inch compared to fiberglass, fiberglass which is only 2.8 per inch. 
So to reach R38, which is pretty standard uh, nowadays for this region in this area, to reach R38 value for cellulose, you need 10 and a half inches. Whereas you need four more inches of fiberglass, 14.5 uh, total inches to reach R38 for fiberglass. However, cellulose insulation has a settlement factor. As you blow it in, it settles two inches. So you actually have to blow in 12 and a half inches because it'll settle down to 10 and a half inches to get to R38. So after I looked at the pricing, did the comparisons, and after tax and so forth, how much was it going to cost me to, say, blow in a thousand square feet of attic space at 10 and a half inches? It would cost me uh, $780 to blow in a thousand square feet of 12 and a half inches, because it settles two inches, of cellulose insulation, and that's before uh, installation costs. $780 of, uh, of material to, to blow into the attic. A thousand square feet for fiberglass, 14 and a half inches was going to cost me for 540 inch, I mean $540. Uh, there you go. You, you know the numbers. The, the, the numbers say it all. So, okay, fine. But which one? Now we still have to figure out which insulation is safer and which one's gonna last longer. Let's talk about safety. This stuff, the fiberglass insulation, can be hazardous, but it also is very. Uh, it's very irritating. It, uh, it gets in your lungs and your throat as you're, as you're installing it. It's safe in your house uh, because you don't live in the attic. You live in the, in the, uh, below your ceiling. Um, but it's unsafe for installers. Um, it's also very uncomfortable. When you sweat in the attic and you're installing this stuff, it sticks to your skin and it itches something crazy and it can last for days. Also, if you don't have a respirator, you're breathing this stuff in and it gets in your throat, it gets in your lungs, and, and, and you can really develop a problem with that. But then again, that's pretty much for the installers that, that, that would have a problem with that. This stuff is dusty, so you're probably going to have to wear a, a filter mask for that. But other than that, uh, safe-wise uh, installation, this is pretty safe. Um, I'd still wear a filter mask because it's, it's a lot, it's dustier dirtier than this, but this is glass fiber. Now we're going to